Yo, yo, what's going on? It's Ace Chan, the Sensei. I'm back at you again with another one. Today, we are here with Ariel. Ariel, yes. Ariel is a woman of many adventures. She's an entrepreneur. She's an artist. She's a writer. And she's much more. But today, we're going to let her tell you about herself. But first of all, before we start this video, make sure you like, subscribe, share, comment, whatever you want to see whatever you want to ask her you know be nice and tell us what you think about the video first of all i want to give a shout out to one of my sponsors lit black heart um i'm wearing one of the i'll say raincoats which is one of my favorites you you might see in some of my default pictures of abby so hold on let me show them this real quick Now, as you see, it has the, the spaceman, you know, like, he's collabing with NASA in this one, so that's why I really like this one, and, you know, it kind of gives, gives you the fly look while you're trying to, you know, stay dry in the rain, you know? So, make sure y'all check that out, liveblackheart.com, you know, link should be in the description, but other than that, we're going to, you know, get back to Ariel and uh, meet her. <laughs> All right, so I'm back with my merch on, of course. You know, the Ace Chan merch, the Scooter's shirt, a little wrinkle. Uh, got the hat. Shout outs to, you know, Tanisha Troy. She definitely hooked me up. Uh, she has her channel, by the way, but she also helps me with some of the merch as well as georgia sweet tea so shout outs to everybody who's black businesses doing their thing we also have ariel with a black business on you know her face you want to tell them about that yeah so i got my shades from the boss brand you guys can go check out the boss brand on instagram at underscore t-h-e B-O-S-S-B-R-A-N-D underscore. Um, and that is a business full of nice shades, different types of shades, dazzled shades, you know, everyday shades. Y'all go check that out. All right, that's what's up. Okay, so make sure y'all give a hand for Ariel today. We're about to get to know her, get into the know of her. Um, first of all, tell the people again who you are and where you're from yeah so my name is Ariel um, I am a singer songwriter rapper I am an entrepreneur business owner and a friend to many um, I am from Miami Florida actually um, but you know I'm here in Atlanta trying to make it happen that's what's up uh, you want to tell us about your childhood growing up and what led you to music? Definitely. So growing up, you know, I had a childhood, a fun childhood like any other kid. You know, I was just a kid doing kid things. Um, and actually, one day during spring break, um, I don't know, this year my mama ain't had me in no um, summer camp or nothing like that. I was just at home bored. So I was really aggravating her like mom i need something to do i don't know what to do and she literally just told me go write a song and i just listened to what she said i went and i was like that's something new wrote a song it came out super good she liked it and she was like wow i'm gonna take you to the studio she paid for me to go to the studio and i just been writing ever since where you went to miami studio yeah a studio in miami i don't know the name of the studio she had a friend who knew, you know, somebody who was an engineer. So it was just a friend of a friend of a friend studio. <laughs> wow, that's what's up. So being that you was that age and you got an early experience of the music, who would you say were your musical um, influences? Yeah, influences. Yeah. At that time, I feel like I had a lot of different influences. One of them being Nicki. Um, my second one definitely being Lauren Hill. Um, it's one of my favorites. Too. Yeah, top five, really for sure. And I mean, mm, I could say Drake was a major influence on me at that time too. He was 
he was like at that time he was really like in his bag like the peak of his career was starting at that point and so his versatility really stood out to me and gave me a lot of influence during that time as well so wait what year was this because i remember i found out about drake low-key 2009 yeah um i was 13 years old so that was 10 years ago so it's given 2012 for me yeah that's that's definitely the early drake okay so yeah all right i would say who would you say were your favorite producers around that time or in general at all times still today i mean i want to say at that time a real popular producer was DJ Khaled, especially coming from Miami. Um, he was definitely right. really prominent at that time for sure. Like that was that was the time. I um, met him like three times in Broward. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at like 16, I remember. Yeah, he was he was prominent at that time. And another one is, um, I don't know if this was during that time or not because I was mostly on YouTube finding beats. I wasn't really like, really focused on the different producers at that time them tight beat days. yeah like it was a tight beat type yeah. of culture for me at that time so right, right. i was just finding different beats from different producers but i know dj Khaled was the top one because you heard his name on everything mm. during that time it was dj Khaled, we the best every what, time what about female producers you know um missy elliott elliott is a that is female true. producer that is true you know, you got a few that's out there doing their thing. That is true. That's 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 facts. I just don't think at that time I, I was focused on that. Yeah, I don't think at that time I was focused on on producers. Right. It was more like just the sound, cause I was 13, so it was more so like, how does this sound? Does this make me feel good? And do I want to write to it? I wasn't focused on the like logistics and the technicalities of it during that time. Okay, I respect that. So. I would say out of that, like, what's the best advice that artists or anyone in life gave you? Like, I know I'm sticking on the music with artists, but it could be anybody, a family member, teacher, anybody. Um, everything's going to work out at the end of the day. Just to... I know that we can always get caught up in everything that's going on in our lives and things that's happening to the people around us and that can consume us and kind of knock you off your focus. And so my parents always told me everything's always going to work out at the end of the day. And that kind of kept me grounded. And so I feel like that's advice for any situation. Like, don't too much focus on what's not working out. Just focus on the fact that it's it's working out, right. and that's what I got, and I get that to everybody. All right. Do you have any comment about the state of hip hop today and everything going on, the violence, the Rico charges, the indictments, all of this stuff? I'm not gonna get detailed, but. You know, I'm being as proud as I can about this. How do you feel about it? Wow. I feel like it's just sad. I mean, I feel like we're at a stage in life as a culture where we should all just be rooting for each other. We should all be there for each other. We should stand strong as a community. And I mean, I know it takes a lot to get there. It's easier said than done. But I just feel like we're at that point where we shouldn't be going after our people no more. You know, let petty stuff be petty stuff. Let beef be beef. But we all got something to live for. We all do. And I just think it's ridiculous how people don't really think about what they have to live for because they're thinking about the surface level of a situation, an argument, or whatever problems you have with somebody. It's not worth it. There's going to be a thousand, a million, a billion problems that you come across in life. And 
it's not worth your life. So it's kind of like everybody, everybody can have a piece of the pie. Everybody can win. That don't stop you from winning. Just keep going. Don't worry about what somebody else got going on. Don't worry about what somebody did to you. Whatever they did to you, it doesn't matter because what you, what's for you is for you. It don't matter what they did. They can't stop you from receiving your blessing if God gave it to you. So I just feel like it's just it's not necessary. It's really sad to see. It's pride, it's pride too. You yeah. know, pride is the devil. I yeah. see that through our generation in general. Like we losing sometimes. We losing a, a different rapper right. every other day. First it used to be like every year or by every other year. Now yeah. it's like monthly, turning to daily. So yeah, I you know, think rest in peace to all the artists that we for lost sure. through the yes. I just think it it goes back to like we need to be there for each other. We need to change our mindsets, change our perspectives about things. Because at the end of the day, it's not about us. It's about our generations to come. We got to set the tone for them to be able to have the life that we didn't get to live or the resources that we didn't get to have. We just got to think it's, it's, it's bigger than the surface level stuff. Got too much to lose. Wow. I'll give a hand for that. Okay. That's real. How how do you feel about the kids today? What message would you give to the kids today? I would just tell the kids, you know, be you. Don't follow nobody. Don't do something just because it looks cool. So stay in school, kids. Stay in school. Okay, so we have a big announcement to make this Saturday. Saturday. You're having a performance. Let's talk about that. Yeah, so this Saturday I will be performing at the Melanin Showcase. Um, my guy JD, he goes ahead and he uh, puts together these events for different creatives, for artists, poets, um, bands, DJs, vendors with different businesses. Um, and a whole bunch of other different types of people, models, fashion designers. Um, he puts together these events for people to be able to come together, network, showcase their art, and just, you know, have some type of entertainment in the creative department. So shout out to you, JD. Thank you for the invite. Um, but the Melanin Showcase will be exemplifying, you know, black excellence. And we will be performing there this Saturday. So y'all come out and support. Yes, yes. Y'all definitely come out and support. I'm going to be there for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I had to give you the left hand because I'm using the right hand, you know. But it... We real. Right, right. We from the crib, you right. know, so we're going to be out there. Shout out to Ariel. She got me this performance. She was like, Ace, you know, we got to perform one of ours. And I was like, let's do it. Y'all got to check Ariel out. She's on my album. She, are, are you the only female on the album? Usually I have a few females, but you might be the only one. For the last, al- for my last album, La Sensei. Besides women just like speaking on it like my mother and stuff like Mm -hmm. you might be the only female artist feature. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, shout out to Aria. She be doing her thing. She harder than a lot of these guys out here anyway, but we ain't gonna (laughs) talk about that. All right. But however we can talk about her brand, like, you know, her entrepreneur side, her having her business, like our candles, as you can see right here. Yes. <laughs> These are one of our candles. Um, I purchased her candles before, you know, great scent. She has a lot of products behind this name. So I'm gonna let her go ahead and explain this. Yeah, so our candle company is um, an aromatherapy brand. We don't only sell candles, we sell other aromatherapy products, which include sprays, wax melts, um, and I'm getting into some other things, um, which I'm currently working on. But R stands for Relieved, Relaxed, Rebalanced. And so our brand is basically focused on mental health, really. Um, Just being able to find positive ways 
to control your mental health and uplift your mental health so that you're making sure that you're staying healthy not only mentally but spiritually physically emotionally and holistically all in general um so aromatherapy is basically the practice of smelling different essential oils that have benefits and so they're really good for a lot of your mood you know your energy um if you're fatigued you know different aromas will help you in different areas and so that's what we focus on and so we don't only make good smelling candles but we make candles that's good for you and good for the environment as well as our other products and that's what our candle company is all about okay and you know speaking of the aromatherapy believing anxiety and all that stuff Mm -hmm. do you ever use your candles before your shows one of your shows um like how do you deal with anxiety before in the performance yeah so i'm big on being organized and i always feel like i have to like be super prepared for a show and so the main thing that i make sure i do to get ready is to get in a relaxed mood so i might do a bubble bath light a candle and meditate um i might you know get in a zone where i'm listening to some nice music that helps me just get in the mood to relax myself and really like mellow out so i can get prepared for a show and then i practice you know practice is a part of helping me feel comfortable to get prepared and so candles definitely help not only set the mood but you know help you feel relaxed because of the ambiance that it brings in any type of event or situation all right so your single turn me into a dancer is on apple music and spotify but i noticed that that's the only song you have on there yeah so um i've gotten to the point where i'm now really like you know being more strategic about how i put out music and what music i put out and so everything before turning to a dancer was all things that i was just trying out um i was just seeing what i liked and kind of just testing my flow out as an artist and so all of that stuff was kind of stuff that was just like put out for like sample reasons um but turn into a dancer was one of my first singles that i put out and it was produced 100 percent with different producers different engineers i worked with different people on it and so i was actually going the legit route with that song and so because of that you know i put that out on all streaming platforms okay well that's a very dope track you know i'll be vibing to it um it's a good track for the ladies out there who uh be dancing if you know what i mean you just like to be around the house dancing you know feel like you in the lounge in the bar club or something vibing get turned into a dancer by ariel (laughs) a-a-r-i-e-l all right so let's tell the people what projects are next and yeah what are you working on yeah so i'm actually working on a project right now um it's not solidified, but I'm working on it. And right now, um, I'm calling it Hurt Whole Music. And it's it's for the women who done been through some shit and just kind of are like in their healing process, getting through it and recognizing, you know, not only what somebody else did to you, but your faults and your wrongs and how you're growing and becoming a better woman. So that's really what this new project coming out is there to do to help get women through that process help them in their healing process and recognize that you might have some issues too but it's okay because we're working on it and we're becoming better so that's what it's about that's what's up i think that is very good for the ladies you know woman empowerment you know having something positive for the lady you know because they always say females in hip-hop uh, are supposed to have this negative image where y'all showing your bodies and they're degrading you or degrading yourself right. because they saying you know X I ain't gonna say the S word but X sells and mm-hmm. there's some troops to that you you have any say, uh, words behind that um, I mean I definitely understand the logic I understand why it works um, when you're just thinking about getting paid that's what works but i'm speaking real shit like 
what I anything I put in my music, I could relate to it some way, shape, or form. And so I understand that, you know, people be going through real shit. And music is not only about the money, but it's about how you make people feel. And so I truly believe that when you're speaking about things that everybody can relate to, you helping people as well. It's not just entertainment, but it's also like, you know, this makes me feel something. And that's what I always want to do. I want to help other people feel something that helps them get through their own situations. And so that's why I want to focus on women empowerment. More so than the sex part of stuff, you know. What kind of artist are you? What is your genre? Would you, I mean, you do hip hop, of course, yeah. but what kind of artist are you? That's so funny. I never know how to answer that. I feel like I do a little bit of everything, if you ask me. I'm like all over the place, but I want to say, you know. Versatile. Yeah, I'm versatile, versatile, but I feel like, you know, I'm more of an R&B hip hop artist. Um, I like I like the stuff that makes the ladies feel. So that's that's what I prefer. But I feel like I can I can give you a freestyle. I can give you aggressive rap. I can give you some different types of things. You know, it just depends on what you what you give me. So I I'll give that same energy back. But I love the R and B hip hop. That's that's one of my favorites. All right, all right. So I hope y'all enjoy Ariel. If y'all want to. Finish watching the rest of this interview. Make sure you check out the full video. The link is definitely in the bio. Y'all can hit me up at underscore A A R I E L R E L, and that's on Instagram. Um, if y'all interested in any new music, you can follow me on SoundCloud at Ariel R E L. So A A R I E L letters R E L. Um, I'll have any new songs uploaded on there and on all streaming platforms. So. Thank you for watching and thank you for having me.